So in this video then I'm going to be talking all about what do you get up to in the army day to day when you're not in operations and you're not in exercise. Let's get into it. So before we drop into the depths of the video, before the trolls jump into the comment section and say all you're going to be doing is rifle cleaning, all you're going to be doing is picking up cigarette buds, cleaning stupid stuff, standing around not doing nothing. <laughs> There is a lot of people do come onto the channel and sort of say, well, why are you not saying how it actually is? I'm telling you now to everyone, I am telling you exactly how it is. Why would I sort of take time to tell you that you're going to clean up things? We're all human beings. If you know you're going to mess something up, you're going to clean it up. That's just common sense. Weapon systems, if we fire them, they're dirty. We need them to be clean. Your primary weapon system then is yours. You need that. So if the flipping, the alarm bell goes up and you're deployed anywhere, you need to rely on that gear. It is your own responsibility. Well, that's the way we roll with it. Everyone has got their issued sort of uh, LLM, their rifle, not in their own bedrooms, but within their platoons, they have their own cages and every person is then, uh, you know, a charge of their own bits of pieces of equipment. So that's before we go down the depths of it before the trolls jump in. Trolls, come on. Right, so day-to-day -day stuff then. With, it, it telling you right now, first thing in the morning, if you're not mega busy, it's always going to be physical activity. If you miss that particular... Uh, session so the group session ran by the PTIs you'll be expected not to do the exact same session if their focus was cardio you'll do your cardio in the evening time if their focus was strength and conditioning you, you would do the strength and conditioning do you know what I mean so you keep on top of yourself because like I sort of said about the weapon systems making sure they're good to go you are a weapon system as well and that's not just the infantry you you, you can't carry your kit you can't operate an artillery gun you can't drive a vehicle you can't do whatever if your own body itself is injured. So it's up to everyone else to make sure we're fit and able to go. So that is going to be the sort of the primary aspect on the morning of work. So you'll be given that time to go away and do that. So there's a big bonus there because if you're out in civilian street, you know, Tesco isn't going to give you two hours in the morning to make sure you're fit and able. You're doing that in your own time in the evening. For us, it's given to you and the facilities are, are also provided for you. So another aspect of is, is training. It doesn't matter how long you've served. You need to be all over it. You need to consistent drills, makes things muscle memory where you don't need to think about it. Map reading, uh, your basic med, all these things are skills and we do do them. There'll be another you know, factor of the day for that. You're in there. Okay, <laughs> oh, relax, 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 relax. Okay, so keep going oh. from there. <laughs> Push forward, forward, forward. That was forward. That. Keep going, forward, forward, forward. Keep going, keep swallow, going. Keep going. Keep swallow, going. swallow, swallow, push, 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 push. <laughs> Push, push, keep going, keep going, push it in. It's gone past everything, it's fine. Oh, bit further. Push it all the way down. That's all on. All the way down there. It's good, it's fine, and relax. Okay? You feel it back your foot? Yeah. Solid. You feel it just at the back of there. Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> pull it. Just a gentle pull back. Pull, pull, pull. More, more, more. Slightly faster, slightly faster, slightly faster. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> Now, predominantly, definitely, we asked in our units left down to platoons most of the time to get on with their own business and to find out where they need to go and they will know themselves what's uh, what's weaker and what's stronger within the platoon and what they need to concentrate on and that other things will play into that like what's next on the horizon it we know what's the next deployment what's the next overseas exercise what's the next small term training team you know that kind of stuff which will generally shift and will will We'll see what focus the training needs. So that's the sort of thing you're going to be doing after your physical activity. So after lunch then, it's more training. So you could potentially continue doing whatever training you were doing in the morning time or be doing something completely different. With us then, because we've got the vehicles, there is a part in that day where you'll have to do some vehicle maintenance. But like I said, if you stay on top of your particular vehicle, at the length of time you'll, will be less. You'll have to spend on that because you will have it to a good standard but primarily that afternoon time then it's going to be training now us specific as well we have sports afternoon on a wednesday so that means then on a wednesday you do whatever you're doing up until lunchtime after lunch then that as you fell out you're to do go uh, take part in your own sport and teams within the battalions whether that be football rugby uh, cycling or whatever it may be however if you have a sport which is not falls in that category such as mountain biking, you're free to go do that. People go away to go do rock climbing, there's a huge big rock climbing center, they go do that. If you go fishing, so this is mean that afternoon then on a Wednesday is given to you to go and conduct whatever sport or activity you get amongst. That will always nine times out of 10 happen. However, if you're preparing to go away on a high scale operation or an overseas exercise, or there's something very important coming up, you'll lose that part of the day for sports afternoon 
and then you'll just fill that with stuff specific to the operation or whatever it may be you're going on. So then outside of sports afternoon, then you're normally going to be falling out. So when I say fall out, you're not falling out with people. That's a term we use for finishing the day. And you're normally talking around between 1600 and 1700 on a weekday. You go down to your company office and then you're given a bit of a brief on what you're doing the next day and what you may need to do, whether I pack your kit for something else. You would generally know what you need to be doing prior to falling out. Then once you do that, that is you. You're free to go do whatever normal people do as well. So this is people get confused with the army and the infantry thinking that you're confined to barracks and you're just sort of like stood the attention all the time and doing that kind of stuff. No, when you're finished work, that is you. Go live life and all that kind of stuff. Night training then, generally you're not going to really be working evenings unless you've got something specific coming up. Uh, and, and whatever time gets taken off you in the evening, it will get given back to you. That's something we do so well whether it's long weekends or certainly with us, you're not really working that much after 11 o'clock in the morning on a Friday. That's to allow people who live in the island of Ireland to travel back. <laughs> and starting again on Monday morning about 10 o'clock as well. That will also get switched off um, if we've got something important or, or like a, a very busy schedule or something to get ready for. That gets switched off to allow us more time to get ready for that specific thing. But there is a lot of freedom of movement to do a lot of stuff. Now people may say right there's so much white space you'll be standing around doing nothing and, and, and doing all the rest of it. What I mean by white space is if there isn't any training in specific dedicated that's when it comes down to you wanting to advance yourself. You can go away and do education. When I say go away, you can do it online, uh, distance learning. Or you can just do other aspects of stuff to self-develop you. I am telling you now, there's no better place to self-develop than the infantry because the time will be made available to you there. Obviously, operations, exercise, like I've heard before, if there's big things coming up, they take priority. So the time to self-develop will then get smaller, but it's up to you then to look at them times when the, your time gets bigger to then, okay, I can use this time wisely to do it. And there's just, there's so much different stuff. And if you want to know about the self-development and different avenues to earn extra money or different avenues to educate yourself while you're serving the infantry, drop in the comment section below and I'll do a whole video on that itself. And I'll leave a few videos here, one here about sort of career, what the career structure would look like in the infantry in specific, and another just to throw in there to keep you motivated. See you again.